What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, um, we uh, made it to Summers, and uh, the uh, the uh, ship that Doctor Randolph built has been destroyed for good, which means we're kind of stuck here unless we teleport. However, this girl says, "Uh, you look so serious. You're in Summers, a green paradise. Relax and have some fun." And this guy says, "I wonder why such serious-looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere." Yeah, this is basically a beach resort town. I think there are new enemies we can find here. Wake up in the morning, fall in love. Eat lunch, fall in love. And at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. This guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Oh my god. There's a lot of creeps in this game. I think there are new enemies we can fight here. We got there's also some repeat enemies. Uh, I'm just trying to take a nap in the shade and pause me. Um, there are also some repeat enemies we can fight in this. Uh, I'm gonna try to look around for a second. Um, guy, I'm actually a surfer, but can, you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a quarter so I can tip? What kind of beaches that you can't surf? Hey, hey, stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little prick. Anyway, let's go to the shop, because uh, there's some new weapons and items. I also took money out of the bank off screen, but, uh... We're gonna get- we're gonna buy the big lead back, which is a step up from, uh... The, uh... bat we have, and this is, uh, 123 to 129 TRX bat. We're gonna sell. We're gonna buy the, uh... We don't need the Chef Prime pair. All three characters can get the Lucky Coin, the Cold Blaze, like the, the Diamond Band. So, um... I'm gonna have to strategize. I'll buy one diamond band. Uh, actually, I can't afford two diamond bands, so uh, I'll buy one platinum band for Ness in exchange for 122, and um, I'll buy one diamond band for Paula. There's a lot of expensive weapons here. I will say that. What else can we buy? Um, lucky coin. Um. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to come back here later, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty good in terms of, uh, in, uh, defense and all that. Now, there are some new enemies we can fight here, as well as some repeat enemies. What else enemies we haven't seen, which are repeat enemies? Let's see if we can get in a battle. Good boy, go check out the Scaraba Cultural Museum. It may be helpful to you. They have a holograph of pyramid. If we go to the museum, we can't exactly go there yet, because I think we need a reservation. Right now, part of the, Scar the Scaraba Cultural Museum is being involved. Do you still want to enter? Yeah, we can't exactly go there yet. However, what we have to do um, is exactly... Oh, by the way, this guy, this NPC, this is a regular throughout the game. He kind of gives you charge for all this event. His design is based off of Lucy from Peanuts, the stand that she has in Charlie Brown Christmas. You need a reservation by phone to go to the Stork Club. Someone in total the port network next to someone should know the phone number. That's it for today. This guy gives you hints at various points in the game. Oh, wait a minute. Another nice day. Sunny is already or is this sunny days. There's the hospital if you want to revive party members. East of here is the port town of Tartan. No, no, I'm not a billboard. To go to Scaraba, you need to cross the air. A monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? I want to say it's this house right here. I was a grave robber. I was scared of the PMS I was. I didn't go in, but I tell people I saw a mummy type monster with my own eyes. That's not the guy. But the government uh. You know the store club in summers, you need to call a secret number for a reservation you want to get in. What? I'll give you the secret number. I want you to know it's a strange place. And we got the we got the phone number. They don't say we got the phone number. However. Hello, Jeff. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting players' names for a school project. And you know, players just like you. That's right. The one you can holding the controller. Address your name, please. Don't spell your name wrong. Anyway, so you can register your name as basically the person playing this. Um, this is gonna be a vital point later on, but uh, I've thought of a name for this. Thought 
have a name for this. We're just gonna call it after our, after, uh, we're just gonna call it Bear. I'm gonna wait for a second because uh, I wanna hear that damn Monty Python music. Plus, this is a damn good song. Alrighty, now my day is complete. Now, uh, I woke up at 8 a.m. to record this foot to record a couple Earthbound videos because uh, I have some editing to do today. So, uh, I just want to hear that little bit of Monty Python. Because, like, even if it's just a little bit of Monty Python samples, it's good enough. Thanks, good players and frame routes. Is correct? No, it's just, uh, make sure if it's correct. But that's what we're going to be calling ourselves. I apologize if you're in trouble with me cause you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situation, okay? I worry about him. I really do. We'll talk to you later, Jeff. I hope they can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From Tony. Yeah, that. Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Oh, it's also not, it's also not only been confirmed, but the game's creator should get out of the and the game's localizer that uh, Tony is gay. There's also been fan, the subject of fan theory that Tony has a crush on Jeff. It's pretty much been proven true. I don't want to go up to see because of the Kraken. I mean, any normal horse don't feel the same way. Meow. See if we can, uh... we can have any shit to sell. Oh, uh, we're good. Actually, we, we can sell a few things. Um... I wonder if that's enough to buy me more defense. Alright, we're gonna sell. Get rid of a few things. We're gonna get rid of the Great Charm because we don't need it anymore. Still not enough. Dallin. We're gonna sell the Chef's Fry Pan. We're getting warmer. We gotta fight a couple more enemies when we get these defensive items. Ooh, we're kinda close. Uh, how much money do we have in the bank? Uh, Alright, so, uh... We're, we're just gonna deposit all our withdraw all our money. Of uh, all our $5,000. And that'll get us one, um... That'll get us one of those defensive items. However, um, it pretty much also fitting we have to go back to the shop because, uh, it's also fitting we have to go back to the shop because, uh, that's how we can get access to our phone. Oh, by the way, new enemy. Oh, by the way, repeat enemy. New enemy, repeat enemy. This is the, um, craze sign in the Mad Taxi. The craze sign can actually, uh, paralyze you, so be careful on that. And much like earlier, the Mad Taxi has a 1 in 120 chance of dropping an exterminator spray. So, if you, this is another chance to go for the 1 in 28. Yes, okay, good. See if we can get a level up out of this. No. Yeah, there are, I think there are some new enemies here, but I could be wrong. That's the club story where we need its number to get in. But let's go back to the shop so we can get those items. See, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna give the lucky coin to Paula because she's gonna need it the most. And demon chase hundred twenty. all right, coin of silence, um, that's about it. We can't find another one. Oh, I, I fucking forgot. I need to go to the phone. Club store club. Hello, this is the store club. Oh, nest, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We're looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Clip. Anyway, so that's how we basically, uh... Anyway, so that's basically how we end in the store, the store club. Um... There's a few people we have to talk to, including a finally look at the enemy and the true self. The patron of this club are able to stare in their own soul heart, enough to burn a hole in their sight. I'm now come for a long to see out the real me, the true self. Burn the impression made by super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, and at no time. I, it is telling me. 
Technically speaking, some some elements seem to have like the fact that your reputation your reputation of uh property supports my that's what you wait that's what you get when you record at eight AM, you can't fucking read. Of this I am extremely confident. You guys can envision the final collapse of capitalism. Incredible. Yay, there's anti capitalism in this game. This game has a lot of fucking things. Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman that can make me eat magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. She's over there at the entrance. You have to irony inside of yourself. Like blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. Or again. I oh, wait. Oh, if she's going to say the same thing, however. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way to see my magic cake? I see, okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart at the beach later? Oh shit. Alright, no level up out of this, unfortunately, but um... We're gonna try to go back to that woman and see if we can get the magic cake. Any little thing is we can avoid a battle. I don't know who told you. You came for just for my magic cake. I thought making cake would be the best career for me. Dig in. I love the film terror. That's a very special magic cake. Whoa, it's a drugged up experience. Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and strange dream. Alam in the Far East. Alice of Pooh, the Crown Prince. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the Palace of Emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying your success at this final stage of your training. Go quickly. Use the treasures of the launch you wish. Go in peace. Now, Pooh, um, he starts at level 15, so he doesn't have to start at level 1 like the other, like Paul and Jeff do. He comes with a tiny ruby and a pile of water. There's a cup of light news inside, which is great, and, uh, there's a brain food lunch, which is also great, and there's a, um, brain stone inside, which all takes. Now, Pooh can- Anything thing about Pooh, he cannot equip, equip items Ness, Paul, and Jeff can without lowering their stats, so, uh, Pooh's going to need certain items that you're going to need throughout the game. This also acts like a, uh, wait, this guy's your voice, yeah, you're running me out, it's not really a big deal, I suppose you Yeah, it's basically like calling your dad, but, um... Basically acts like a save feature. I guess I'll pick I'll fit the poo portion in this one video because um the poo segment isn't as long as the Jeff segment was. It's poo, you're my favorite. Tee hee hee. What is immortality? What is it everlasting life? Mm -hmm. What the hell was he saying? I don't know. Oh, Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Oh, Prince Pooh, do you have time to play with me? No. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Train changed you. I'm so jealous of your training. What? I say yes. I'm me, patty cake, patty cake. I hear that Prince Pooh is deeply into Moo training. I don't, I want to help him if I can. Now there are these uh, rabbit things. A strange thing sound. The statue of rabbits blocking your way. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, no, we're not gonna be able to do that yet. Now, if we go over here, this is Moo, the palace of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. 
You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you the high level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing learning this high level. I'll see you again so long. Oh, Prince Fu, I'm a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Fu, you must come back to me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes to praise life, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. I believe what I say is the truth. Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. You'll lose you soon. You accept this? Yes. So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I'll tear your arms off. And soon, take your arms and feed them to the cat, the crows. The taking of your arms, you accept this? Oh, Prince Pooh, that legs and arms can only lie there, so I'll cut your ears off. You don't mind taking away your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. A flowing words in there, and I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? You may live in eternal darkness. I'm so excited to accept this. So, Prince Pooh, not going to communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, it will take your mind. So, you probably don't want a lot of this to you. You probably can't answer. You can't anymore. You're sad. You're lonely. You lose your mind. You also lose any feelings. Do you accept this? I'll t take your mind from you. Know that I will possess it. Jesus, is that how they meditate in Dalam? Miss Fu, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. So yeah, we have to kind of go back to the uh, palace and uh, I could cut the footage, but um, I will say this is a nicely designed part. I wouldn't say it's as nicely designed as the Jeff portion, but it is a pretty nicely designed part. We have to go back to Delam later when we get when Pooh joins our party. Sorry for spoiling this, but uh, yeah, but uh, I guess you're spoiled by the party members in the very beginning of the game. I will say that. It's Pooh. You're my. Okay, they just say the same thing, but um. We talk to the, uh, if we talk to the, uh, father, I'm very proud, you've completed your mood training, there's nothing more to teach you than the holy writings. Prince Fu, I shall rely a message from you to, from eternity. The evil enemy that controls all wickedness prepared for the greatest struggle of all time, the only ones who can challenge the enemy are three boys and one girl. One is named Ness, the leader of the four, one of the boys is you, Prince Fu, now that you've completed your training, search out, see, search out Ness at once, for all beings, the earth of himself. I pray your growth in the might of the four. Who is now level 16? Oh, baby. Offense went up by five. Defense went up by two. He went up by two. Guts went up by two. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by seven. Max HP went up by four. Pharrell's desire power of shield beta. Who's level 17? Defense went up by two. Max HP went up by three. Max HP went up by one. Who realized the power of teleport alpha? Who's level 18? Offense went up by two. Defense went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Pierce went up who has the power of teleport beta? Yes. My name is Pooh. I'm the one who will fight beside you. I'm a servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Now, Ness, my life is in your hands. And Pooh has joined us, so I think that's a good time to cut it off as part of Earthbound, so next time on Earthbound, we're going to see what we can do with a new party member, we're going to see what's left we can do in um, Summers. See you guys then!